generative AI has taken the world by storm. Just recently, generative AI or Gen AI applications like ChatGPT have captured widespread attention and imagination. Gen AI is a type of artificial intelligence that can create new content and ideas, including conversations, stories, images, videos, and music. Like all AI, Gen AI is powered by machine learning models, which are very large models that are pre-trained on vast amounts of data and commonly referred to as foundation models or FMs. Foundation models or FMs can perform so many more tasks because they contain such a large number of parameters that make them capable of learning complex concepts. AWS Bedrock is a new service from AWS to cater to the generative AI or Gen AI. AWS Bedrock provides you a straightforward way to find and access high performing foundation models that give outstanding results and are best suited for their purpose. AWS Bedrock also provides you an integration into applications to be seamless without having to manage huge clusters of infrastructure or incur large costs. With AWS Bedrock, you can take base foundation model from AWS, then train it further based on your own data in a secure way. Amazon Bedrock, which is a new service that makes foundation models from AI21 Labs, Anthropic, Stability AI, and Amazon accessible via API. AWS Bedrock is the easiest way for you to build and scale Gen AI based applications using foundation models, democratizing access for all builders. Bedrock will offer the ability to access a range of powerful foundation models for text and images, including Amazon's Titan foundation models, which in return consist of two new large language models or LLMs, which AWS has announced through a scalable, reliable, and secure AWS managed service. So again, in summary, AWS Bedrock is AWS's answer to Gen AI based applications. With AWS Bedrock, all you need to do is to use the base model from AWS, then use your own data to train that model as per your organization's use case in a secure way. It is still in a limited preview, and I'm hoping that it will be generally available very soon. I hope that this fall, this was interesting for you. If you have any comments or feedback, please put them down below. Thanks.